this is your teacher Abby and welcome to High English. Today we're going to cook shrimp cake. bought this directly from the fisherman while I was at the beach. I didn't know that alamang is not salty by itself. You need to put salt to it to make it shrimp paste or bagoong. Okay, so it's not salty. Actually, you can use this for omelette. I tried it and it tastes good actually and it's not salt. So this is the pan and the ladle. The oil. Okay. So this is the oil in the plastic bottle and this is oil in the sachet. We should prepare first the garlic. I mean all the ingredients before we cook them. Okay, so remove the skin, the garlic skin. By the way, this is one whole garlic. One whole garlic. I like it with lots of garlic. Now we pound the garlic using a pestle. And this is mortar. Mortar and pestle. They go well together. And I had to film because okay, I put the alamang out from the ref and I fro it was frozen. And I put it out from the ref. I didn't want to put it back. So I had to cook it. But I want to also make a video. So it's like hitting two birds with one stone. Okay, I cook at the same time vlog about it. Hoping that my students will learn English while watching me cook my alamang. Okay. I want this with lots of garlic. This shrimp paste, I want it with lots of garlic. So I'm using two. I don't follow recipes, you know, it's like intuitive, cooking is intuitive for me, just imagine how it's gonna taste like. This is chili, green chili. Next, onions, okay, so when your onion skin is bad, you are sensitive. Onion skin, chop the onions into small pieces, this is enough. So we have onions, green, chili, and garlic. So we heat the pan. So I pour some oil. Onions first. Next is the garlic. Look at this. The onions are translucent. It's clear. Next is the garlic. Wait for the garlic to get brown. Next, we're going to add alamang. It smells good because of the garlic. Let's mix for a while. Okay, so now our alamang is brown. We add we add vinegar. This is vinegar and this is sour. And I put the vinegar here. This bottle is originally with cheese inside, like melted cheese. But I reused it. Reuse means use again for the same or different purpose. So before, this bottle was used for, for 
cheese and now I'm using it for vinegar. Now that it's boiling, we can now mix it. And then, we put, put the sauce, okay? This bottle is uncovered. It doesn't have a lid. This bottle is covered, okay? It has a lid. Or a cap. A lid or a cap. Okay, so we put some salt, some chili peppers, green So this is a bottle of salt. Let's talk about salt. Okay, some idioms like take it with a grain of salt, meaning you should not be lumping completely. So you take it with a grain of salt. For example, you heard the rumor that Katniel broke up, okay, that the two people broke up, but you don't have any evidence that it's true. So you take it with a grain of salt, okay? So you don't believe it completely. Next, rub salt in the wound. Rub salt in the wound is to make it more painful, to make something more painful. Rub salt in the wound. So for example, um, Catherine broke up with her boyfriend and then the mother said, Oh, I told you to break up with him a long time ago, but just stuck it out with him for 11 years. He said, your boyfriend was a womanizer, okay? So instead of consoling her, the mother rubbed salt in the wound. The mother made things more difficult for Catherine, okay? That's just, you know, an example. It doesn't mean that it's, you know, it's true, okay? So I have sugar in my pantry. It's called washed. Washed sugar. It's different from brown sugar. Washed sugar is not brown enough. It's a little brown, but it cannot be considered like brown sugar. So this one, can you see? It's a little brown. It's light brown, okay? So it's, it's light brown. It's washed sugar. Okay, just add... Okay, so let's wait for a while till it's done. A while ago, my student, the student of high English called me up and she told me about her experience with the JET program. She's one of the applicants at the Japanese Embassy. Uh, she told me that she was really, really scared during her demo. She um, prepared a powerful presentation about adjectives. To, for teaching grade 4 students. Um, she was happy that she had that experience, but she's not so confident that, you know, she would pass. So cross your finger, I hope you pass, and we will feature you in the High English Success Story. I like it when my students update me about the happenings in their lives. They can call me or message me. You know, I've met a lot of people through High English and I'm grateful that High English is able to touch the lives of many people. Their lives have improved, yes, and they message me, thank you, oh, mom, thank you, thank you, um, because I submitted my High English certificate, I was, I, I passed this exam or I got promoted. And I'm happy to keep in touch with all of you. You know, we'll not wait till it's fully done. It's gonna take a while. Thank you all for watching. And I hope you comment, like, and subscribe. Or enroll in high English if you haven't enrolled yet. And you will learn a lot. Learn a lot and welcome to your high English family. What do you mean by hitting two birds with one stone? A. It is physically impossible to hit two birds with one stone. B. It means throwing a stone at a flock of birds to scare them away. C. It refers to harming or killing two birds. D. 
It means achieving two tasks with a single action. The correct answer is D. It means achieving two tasks with a single action. What do you mean by, take it with a grain of salt? A. Eat salt while listening. B. Don't completely believe something you hear. C. To take some salt wherever you go. D. Avoid using salt as much as possible. The correct answer is B. Don't completely believe something you hear. What do you mean by rub salt into the wound? A. To rub salt on a wound. B. To intentionally make someone feel worse about a difficult situation. C. To offer someone support and comfort after a hardship. D. To ignore someone who is struggling. The correct answer is B. To intentionally make someone feel worse about a difficult situation.